You choose the life you want to live. I choose to be happy, uh, no matter what. The Navajo land is one of rich culture and history. Its people have carried on their traditions and ceremonies through the generations. There is a spirit here that breathes life into everything. There are some things uh, in, in, in nature uh, that, you, that you need to use as a resource to, 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 to have confidence in, in yourself. You know, to, to be compassionate and to have uh, understanding and, and love. Harry Walters is a part of this culture. As an archaeologist, historical museum director, and teacher, much of his life's work has been to preserve it. One of his greatest achievements was the creation of the Navajo Community College Historical Museum. I uh, created uh, the artifacts collection and then uh, uh, the audiovisual exhibit programs and education programs. So I, I, I did this all from scratch, you know. Harry also helped design the curriculum for the Center of Diné Studies. In this, Harry and other Navajo elders work together to combine Navajo culture and ways of thinking into a Western-style curriculum. Although it proved to be successful, the task was difficult. In, in, in many cases, our traditional, uh, uh, our, our traditional uh, curriculum do not fit, and, and so. Uh, this is this is very hard, and uh, we're at a constant struggle uh, 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 with that. It's a struggle that's nothing new to the Navajo people. The balance between Western culture and their own is a delicate one. As an anthropologist, Harry knows it well. For a long time, I was I was uh, uh, troubled by uh, tradition and science. You know, uh, I used to uh, 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 sit in the ceremonies and, and, and everything that was happening, things like it, I'm trying to analyze it, you know, put it into, put it into uh, uh, scientific, uh, scientific terms. And, and it, 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 re it really bothered me. But Harry, like many before him, learned to overcome it. It was at a seminar, uh, this article said, they were talking about native tradition and and uh, and science. Uh, a young man uh, stood up and he says, "I'm a Native American. Uh, I'm also an anthropologist." And he said, "I have I have a duty to science." And Deloria said, "Anthropology is just your profession. You learned that." He said, uh, "You are a Native American." You, you were born Native American, you were died Native American. He says, your first duty should be to preserve the tradition of your people. And I thought about it and said, that's it. I have been looking at my culture from an Anglo-anthropological -anthrop perspective. I said, why am I doing that? Why am I trying to be a white man? And I think most of us are like that. And I said, there are many Anglo anthropologists who could run circles around me. They have all kinds of degrees and I could never compete with them. But how many of them can speak a native language? Probably none. How many? to know what ceremonies are really about. Probably none. I do. I have that advantage. I also had the same training. So I started uh, uh, studying from the Navajo perspective. It is perhaps the best way 
to preserve the values and beliefs of a culture, to live them. Honesty, you know, being honest with yourself and happiness and, and be happy. I go walking every day and, 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 and in the morning. And sometimes uh, we just go out there hiking, you know, my wife and I, by, by ourselves uh, there. That's where, that's where I, I, I get my peace of mind. I can sit there and, and look at it and say, this is beautiful. We live in, in a beautiful place. Uh, they turn red. They're about the size of a cherry. They're edible. But they're, they're ripe around by uh, August. August and early September. I think that we are really not losing our culture. You know, uh, we are losing our way of life in the past. And, and uh, every culture, you know, goes through that. Uh, culture change, mm -hmm. culture change, uh, uh, as you know, the, the way of life change with, with it. But the one thing that uh, 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 that I'm, I'm, I'm very concerned about is the values. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, the Western society does not really have values. And, and uh, it's, not, it's not taught in school. And that uh, values is something that, uh, that, that you learn on your own. And, and, uh, but with us, it is part of that. That the whole uh, uh, traditional education system is that, that, that you uh, uh, respect and know about values. The future of the Navajo culture lies in its people. We have uh, a way of looking at the, uh, the natural world, the way it, it is organized, the way it behaves. Uh, we are a part of it. Uh, our culture, our, our, our belief system is aligned with, with this order and, and that uh, uh, to recognize that and use that, uh, everything will, will start uh, falling into place. Today, the Navajo land remains a land of rich culture and history. There is a spirit here. To understand it and to use it is a gift. It's what, it's what makes us, you know, a Native American, and and it's it's this kind of chemistry that makes ceremonies work. And then uh, again, the same chemistry can also bring happiness, you know, and, 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 and uh, content.